Hello and welcome to the Irish Aesthete. Let me begin by saying that this new series is more social than architectural history, although there is a house at the heart of it. But our starting point is a picture which recently came up for sale. This is the painting in question, a portrait of a woman called Mrs. Philip Kindersley, painted in 1931 by Anglo-Hungarian society artist Philip de Laszlo. It's a charming picture, one of the last great swagger portraits following in the tradition of Van Dyck, Lawrence and Sargent. And as a result, it quickly gained renown, featuring on the cover of several publications. It was also included soon afterwards in a big exhibition of de Laszlo's work held in Paris. For a long time, this picture hung in a house in Ireland. But 25 years ago, it left the country and seemed to disappear because nobody knew where it had gone. And then a few months ago, I was told that the portrait had turned up in a house in Atlanta, Georgia, where the contents were being sold by a local auctioneer in mid-September. So who was Mrs. Philip Kindersley and what was the Irish connection? Well, it would help if you knew that she was otherwise known as Una Guinness. And for many years, until her death in 1995, this portrait of her hung in Lugalaw, County Wicklow. The link between Una's family and Lugalaw goes back to the beginning of the last century, when her father, Ernest, began renting the estate from the Wingfield family. Ernest Guinness was the middle son of Edward Guinness, later First Earl of Ivor, who in 1886 had made himself the richest man in Ireland after floating the family brewery on the London Stock Exchange. In 1903, Ernest had married Marie Clotilde Russell, otherwise known as Chloe, the couple going on to have three daughters born two years apart. The eldest was Eileen, then came Maureen, and finally Una, who was born in 1910. Although they would go on to lead separate and each highly colourful lives, the three were very close as children, frequently dressed in identical outfits. Incidentally, their later years, when they became known as the Golden Guinness Girls, have recently been chronicled in a novel by Emily Hurricane. The three enjoyed what was unquestionably a privileged upbringing. Because their father Ernest worked in the brewery in Dublin, they lived in a large house on the outskirts of the city just beyond the Phoenix Park. This was Glen Maroon, a mid-19th century property which was much enlarged by Ernest in the style of an English manor, seemingly to ease his wife's homesickness. Glen Maroon still stands today, albeit in rather poor condition, and its arts and crafts interior are an important and relatively rare surviving example of this style in Ireland. In 1911, Ernest further extended the building to include an indoor swimming pool, one of the very first such private facilities in the country. But this was far from being the only residence enjoyed by his family. A keen shot, he also liked to spend time during the shooting season at Ashford Castle in County Mayo. This was a property which had been bought by his grandfather in the middle of the 19th century. From the early 1900s onwards, Ernest would host his own shooting parties every year at Ashford Castle. And then, of course, there was a house in London on Grosvenor Place. The building is today the Irish Embassy. As I've already mentioned, Ernest was a keen sportsman, and among his many passions, a particular one was sailing. In 1921, he bought a yacht, the Fontom, from the Duke of Westminster. Two years later, the Guinnesses, both parents and their three daughters, set off on a voyage around the world, travelling with a crew of 33, including their own doctor and three chefs. The voyage took just over 11 months, and when it returned to Britain, the girls were ready to be launched on an unsuspecting society. And in the next episode, I'll tell you what then happened, and how Lugalaw remained an important part of the girls' lives. I look forward to seeing you then. Thank you so much for watching The Irish Aesthete. Goodbye.
Thank you.